Welcome back guys, welcome to another awesome lecture. So what we're gonna do today is um, that we're gonna try installing um, uh, uh, Font Awesome and why we need that, for example, this button here, I just have, want to have that icon. So one way is you to find CD and link and to put it on top like this for the Font Awesome. You already know this, I have done in the other projects, but if you do want to go like that that's one way and yeah but I'm not today what we're gonna do we're not gonna install it like this so we have this one compilate uh, we have this running in our background so what we're gonna do control C you're gonna terminate if it's not working just close it right now the one easy way is to install it with npm right so what we're gonna do we're gonna install it using npm install font awesome so mine will tell me that I do have it here maybe it won't I do have it actually but I'm gonna install it one once more time here it is so npm install font awesome and what it will do in our npm folders where is it uh, actually we can't find it right now but it's, it's gonna be here so we did have installation of that one and what we are going to do is we're not gonna use it we're not gonna search it like this so it's the, actually I've opened it the node folder node modules so I'm not gonna look where it is so what we're gonna do in the app.blade we're gonna import it and so what you can do you can say okay make a make a comment say font awesome and you can say at import and what we will import sorry we need to put yeah we need to put double quotes here what we are going to import we're going to use the same syntax here so you can use it with single quotes actually it's better with single quotes now tilde and you need to search it so I don't know where it is so I'm gonna say font awesome slash scss I know this one and it's located in font awesome so I'm just gonna save it but remember because we terminate this process we need to do npm run watch again and I'm gonna pause it for a couple of seconds because I, I don't know how long it's gonna take okay it wasn't that bad so now we have this one and if we go in our public here we're not gonna see we, we're gonna hear we're gonna have this one fa fa stuff like that now how we know it's gonna work let's see let's test it out i don't know if it's gonna work as well and what i'm going to do i'm gonna go landing page and i'm gonna look for the button here so inside that button i want i class sorry i class with uh fa fa search i think so that was the name so i'm just gonna save it and i'm just gonna go there and here it is we do have this font awesome now i think so that we can do what we can do we can install um google so remember we do have this one google font and in the app we are just loading this URL here. No. So if you want to install a different one, I'm gonna show you now. If you want to use Google API fonts. Now, you need to go to developers Google that fonts and well, it's like this. Let's go to fontsgoogle.com, right? Uh, I just got, went to a different one. Now, I'm just gonna go for a bottle and here it is I'm just gonna click on this add sign and I'm gonna put it lato I'm gonna click on that sign as well so here there are two families selected and I'm just a little bit gonna customize I have I want to have light I want to have light italic I want to have both 900 and 700 and I do want to for a bottle the same and black 
in bold 700 so that's it so I'm gonna go back to embedded now if I use this link like this I need to shoot it like right here on the top but I'm not gonna do that so what I'm going to do I'm just gonna go for this one import right so I'm gonna import it as this now here it is saying phone family I'm just gonna copy because that one is not that big and I'm just gonna sorry I'm just gonna put it here now this is definitely bigger because we are just loading different styles Lato and for Roboto there, that, that's why there is a pipe there so two fonts very good if I click here save was it actually save it there it is I need to sometimes you need to press F5 this one is not working okay now I'm going to back to where public a app yeah I think on top yeah here it is on top I have two imports one is that one and the other one is this one very good now I think we're done with this we need to test it out so what I'm going to do usually when you go to this base you target the body and you set all of the styles but I'm not gonna do this in my way why because I have the in the main I do have this wrapper here and what I will say I will say font size 18 pixels and I will put important just to override anything if I if there is something because I'm remember we are using bootstrap as well wait this one to finish very good a little bit changed now if you don't know how to <laughs> you probably know how to do it fun awesome so phone family but if you don't know the Google actually gave you this one you know I'm just gonna copy this to here buddies they are buddies and I'm just gonna paste them here and what happened okay well I had so much space between them now make it like that so I'm gonna just comment this one and I'm gonna save it and I'm just gonna wait for this one to compile very good now so I should see some changes in the phone. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and here it is I do have different font now if I change it this to the other one wait this one is done very good should change it I do have this one so I'm gonna stick with Lato if you want to stick with a Roboto very good if you want to change some other font or you can use Nunito as well right because I think we have it yeah I'm just gonna save it wait this buddy to be done and here it is very good you can use Nunito as well so that's it this is how you can import two things font awesome without linking them and you we have done we're importing uh, uh, um, we have imported Google fonts so now if you want another family search for it and go for that one style that you want now yeah they are very popular Roboto Nunito but yeah you can Roboto condensed whatever you want your design to be just go for this one yeah I'm going to use I'm gonna use most of the Nunito or one of these three right in my in my project so yeah that's why I installed it that's why I told you that you can do it same so put it in the wrapper why because the wrapper is actually everything is wrapped inside even this one even this the footer right so that's pretty much it I think we are good now you can change this one app name you can change it to in the environment to whatever name you want so call premium let's do that as well and now let's see what's happening here here it is on top there is a premium and also this one here if it couldn't find the app that name this this should be premium as well alright so if there is a mistake there if there is something if there is a nothing there it's gonna gonna go for this one so this is if if this is not get this one now shouldn't see any changes so that's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next lecture. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.